Hi there, Izzy from DigitalGoja.com and today we're going to take a look at what the differences are between an autofocus electronic system lens and a fully mechanical manual focus lens. Number one, if we look at the back of the mechanical lens, notice that there are no electronic contacts back here whatsoever. This is the same technology that we've had way back in the days of the days of film. So it just have your Canon mount. This one happens to be for a Canon camera. Now let's look at the back of a lens that has the electronic feature. Notice how you have electronic contacts because in here there are tons of circuits and motherboards and features that allow this lens to communicate with your standard DSLR. So let's mount it on here. Now when I turn on the camera you can notice that if you look through here you're going to have all your information when it comes to your focusing parameters, your exposure, everything is done for you automatically. And of course, when you do any kind of setting whatsoever, so if I choose to go into, let's say, for example, a manual mode, I can now set the f-stop as we always do here with our control panel right here on the command button. Now, let's take a look at the difference when we deal with a fully mechanical lens. Notice that here, this one actually has the aperture control on the lens. Like way back in the days of film, you did your manual setting for your f-stop right here. So as I open and close the aperture, it changes on the lens. But I'm doing all the control from the actual lens itself. So when we mount this guy on, which is what I recommend especially for the novices. Notice how when you do your exposure, it changes your exposure in real time, but there's no reading whatsoever. It's not telling you what f-stop or what shutter speed is occurring. So this is where this lens has to be set to full manual. You set your control dial to manual, and if you're a novice, switch it to live view so that you can see your exposure being created as you set it on the camera. So that way it takes away a lot of the guesswork. You can still have a lot of fun and work with an 8mm in this design. This one happens to be, of course, the Altura 8mm fisheye. Now, if you choose to, you do have the option of purchasing, of course, something like this. This is the beautiful L series 8 to 15 lens from Canon. But notice, you will have a substantial difference in price. So you got to make a decision. Do I want to have a lot of fun and spend a nominal amount of money and in investment because I'm not an advanced photographer and I'm new to photography or I want to save money? You can go the old design and go with a standard manual lens. You just have to work a little bit harder with it. But if not, you still always have the option of going with today's most advanced technology out there. You make the decision. Remember, if you have any ideas or questions about videos on photographic equipment, subscribe to the link underneath and shoot me an email at video at digitalgoja.com. Happy shooting!